Coming up, G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 83, Tunnel Rat. Stick around. <laughs> What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Uh, today's video as part of our double header. We have the G.I. Joe Classified Series number 83, Tunnel Rat. This is part two of our double header. Uh, figure I've been looking forward to probably the most. Um, so we did, you know, two ahead of time and two more to go. So that's just for, you know, the next few days. But uh, there's still more after that. So there's, oh geez, five more after we do Tunnel Rat. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get into him. He's a, looks great so far, just like looking at the pictures through the box. I you know, can't wait to get into him. But um, let's go ahead and go over the box for you. As you can see here, his uh, figure art. Looks like he's coming through a, uh, maybe a subway uh, tunnel. Um, you've got some artist renditioning here. Accessories at the top. Go to the side. This is QR code, 83, stats. Flip to the back. Got some more detailed pictures of his figure. Six inches in height. Close with the pouch for some reason. His little uh, tunnel rat, I guess, patch on his shoulder. Um, I better close up other stats for you. Over here, a nice artist render on the side box art. 83 at the bottom. Yeah, Joe at the top, warning stuff and UPC on the bottom. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop him open. But first, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right, so get out the trusty dusty Kniff. Pop him open. So, uh, I'm surprised he was actually one of the first ones that said they were shipping, you know, for the pre-orders that we got, you know, I guess he was kind of the first one that came in. But uh, we waited to get uh, a few more in. And as you guys have seen, we did uh, the Target exclusive Viper figure first for this uh, for this round. I don't know, I figured ladies first, you know, why not? We'll just get that one out there. A few things I would have liked to add to there, you know, to show you. Hey, you know, Viper could have been like a, like a Tiger Force of Kiko or whatever, but that's just done. I'm just wondering how they're going to do with with the regular version because it'll be just basically be a, uh, a blue ninja so i don't know but anyways so here's tunnel rat in his cardboard dungeon and just looking at that alone man he looks great so pop him out as you can see it doesn't have those little twine pieces in here it has the little rubber snaps that we saw recently so we'll go ahead and start popping these to get those out these things make a mess so I want to make sure I get the other ends put to the side so I don't lose them all over the floor so we're going to snap four of them out and he basically just slid right out get the rest of that crap out of here show you the uh, the backdrop nice black and white you know artist render very cool Plastic pieces and here he is he is short man he's real short damn he looks cool I like the uh the gray marks he has on him like the camo and he's got it up and down his forearms on his face um, I don't see any on his neck the rest of is covered so he's got his uh, little ammo bandolier running along him it's a little big um i think it should be molded a little more to the side so it hangs a little proper he's got his scarf you see he's got his shoulder holster here with a uh, single holster for his revolver up top you have this what was that a compass maybe or another type of light i'm not really sure look into the shoulder you can see tunnel rat and a little logo of the rat with a flashlight. Pretty funny. Um, looking around on him, he's got these 
green knuckle gloves. There's a green bracelet on his left wrist. Um, a sheath and some pouches on his uh, left thigh holster. Some more pouches, probably ammo mags on his right. Pretty cool knee pads, brown boots to the back, single hole, and he's got his bandana. So good old Nikki Lee. All right, let's check out his articulation. So the head is on the ball joint. It can go around 360 and take the uh, little handkerchief, handkerchief, scarf with him. The neck is movable as well. It can go down that far and up that far. It should really be able to go up more. I don't know why they keep doing this. Coming around to the arms, push them out, and they don't want to go out that bad. So there it is, out. Um, they are only butterfly joints for the shoulders. So the arms can rotate 360. There's bicep rotation. Double jointed pinless elbows. Um, hands will do a full 360 around the wrist. And there is a hinge peg. So you can move them up, down. And that's about it. I don't think they want to go in and out. Nope, oh, just up and down. Check out his ab crunch. That far forward. That far back. At his waist, the belt is attached to his lower torso here. So he does have a waist swivel. Move down to the legs. There's your drop leg. Thigh rotation. Double jointed pinless knees. Back down. There is no calf rotation. There is slight ankle rotation. That's just a little tight. And there is a hinge at the angle to move down that far, up that far, and of course, side to side pivot. So cool. Articulation's good. Figure looks good. I'm liking him. All right, let's go over his accessories. There's a ton of red on the box. B3, GI Joe. 83. And pop this open. Box to the side. Crap. GI Joe Cobra accessory bag. We'll dump out the mound of goodies. Alright. So we'll just take it from the top because it all has a pile here. And first up, we have his heavy machine gun very cool reminiscent to the classic Got a little fat stock on it you have this fold down bipod looks awesome so the two toned you have the OD green and the black pop that back up like that a scope on it hole at the end of the barrel for blast effect stuff next up the ammo cartridge so small black container with the little peg right there that you can plug directly into the bottom of the gun and go ahead and feed them bullets up onto the side right here so it looks like they're actually going in good stuff bring that that bipod back down and I'm going to set that up. Let's move him back so I'm just going to get a better shot. That looks great. Next up is knife. So we've seen this one with a few other figures. Silver blade. A little serrated edge on the top. Nice blade on the bottom. Black handle. Cool. Alright, next up we have his night vision goggles. So here's the little head harness that you have right here. Coming down to looks like four separate lenses. So it looks like two per eye, which is pretty cool. You have the eye pieces right there. 
and two coming out into each one. Something different. So instead of two, you see four. Maybe so we can see more uh, more of the surroundings. That's neat. That's a new take. Next up, another thing to hang off him, which I think he has too many already, but his satchel. So all brown. Nice little flexible uh, band here, strap. And it comes down to this larger pouch that does not open, but looks good. Detail's pretty amazing. Right. Okay. You guys had tunnel rat when you were younger. You remember these? And here's his flashlights. So he's got two of them, all black. You got the green lens over the front. Pretty cool. Kind of hoping one would be red, but you know. If you ever wanted to customize them, it wouldn't be that hard. You know, dab some little bit of red paint in there, and you're good to go. These were always lost, you know, as a kid, or most kids who had tunnel rat. I know I lost mine, but. Next up, we have his revolver. So that's cool. It's not silver like I thought it would be, but it is actually black with a brown handle. That's awesome. No hole in the front, so you cannot put a blast effect on it. Nice little grip with the finger grooves. All right. And last but certainly not least, we have his backpack. So a nice oversized ruck, green. I like the texture on it. It has the, the ridges and everything, so you actually feel the texture. It's pretty cool. Looks good. Looks like it's packed full of stuff. No openings on it. Not really any spots to hang anything, but it does have the two compartments in the top, right here and here, to put the flashlights. So, we'll spin that around, so like the peg would be going in his back, he'd want to be having some extra light to look forward, and go ahead and plug them lights right on down in there like that. And I'll get the other side, turn it some. All right, let's go ahead and uh, gear him up. So first I wanna get this positioned a little better. I don't really like how this is hanging. Get around to his back. Gotta make it sure that's, that's on him properly so it looks, you know, halfway decent. And then we'll take the satchel, throw it up over his head, get his arm through there. Pull that down. I'm still kind of holding these things in, in the, into place. I'll take that backpack, find that plug up with the hole, and get that on in there. Okay. We're going to move down to his legs on the next one. And go ahead and pop the knife in the sheath. Right there. Uh, I'm going to test this, but I don't think I'm going to keep him on him. But there he is with the night vision goggles on. They fit good. I just I just don't like them. If this folded up or something, it would be a little bit better. But they don't. So I'm going to try to see if I can fit them on to where he's just like pulling them up. That looks okay. So I might do that. I want to be able to see his face because his face actually looks really good. It's one of the best portraits on these figures I've seen yet. It really brings out the, uh, you know, the Nikki Lee accuracy and details of the tunnel rat figure. That's cool. I don't think I'm going to um, have him dual wielding, but I am going to go ahead and put his revolver in the holster right there. Now for the this BFG. Slide that into his hand and get that finger around that trigger guard. Oh, the handle popped out. Let me get in the fingers. All right. No issues because the hands don't want to come out open. I'm going to take this knife carefully, doll side in, and get them fingers up over it. Man, he's just falling apart all over the place. Try 
here, how am I gonna do this? First, I'm gonna put the bipod back up. Lift that arm some. I think it's gonna turn. Bring his hand up, because I don't think he's gonna be, you know, single-handedly, you know, holding this big-ass gun. Get him a grip. Get that thumb up. So, kind of got it. It's a little wide for his hands. Never understood why a tunnel rat would have, you know, a big old gun anyway. You want something compact so you can get through them small spaces. But, there we go. Yeah, this thing definitely doesn't like his hand. I'm trying the best I can, but new plastic, pretty tough. Mess with it some, he'll eventually grip it, but there we go. Let's um, slide this backpack back on. It's got some weight to it, so he may be a little top heavy. I haven't tried the uh, the standing yet. Let's see how that's gonna work out. Backpack peg could be longer. It doesn't wanna stay in. So probably just due to all this, you know, excess stuff he's carrying. One more time, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I just think he definitely has too much stuff on him. So there's that. Try that back up on his head one more time. Not on all the way. It is loose. Start straightening that out a bit. This is just a lot of stuff you know, packed onto this little dude. He will stand. He has to have a little bit of a forward push because slide his tat back and he's going to fall backward. But there you have it. He's all geared up. Everything does fit on him. He looks good. So let's go ahead and throw him on the turntable and uh, we'll give you some final thoughts. All right. Here is your G.I. Joe Classified Series number 83. Tunnel Rat. Wow. I don't know what other words to say this figure is great he is fantastic he comes with all these accessories they look great you know they all fit on him um i do think that there's a little too much you know extra baggage you know with the uh, the shoulder holster the scarf the ammo belt the satchel it's just too much hanging over him that backpack it should be hollow i think it's got a little too much weight to it so it's pulling him backward um, the night vision goggles is, a, is a, a new thing, but I think the front should fold up. I think it would look a little better if it folded instead of having to position it like that to where, you know, there's the big gap inside of it. Um, the homage to the original, you know, with the large backpack and the, uh, flashlights that stick on it is a definite cool, cool addition. Um, the revolver, that's something else. Uh, I think, uh, Mel over where I figured he was saying, you know, he's definitely needs to get that revolver he's been waiting for one there's um quite a few figures that have revolvers but not really none in jajo classified so pretty surprising but uh overall he's a great figure um i like i like the sculpts the head is just fantastic just look at them at the portrait it really looks like the character it's really good the uh little details you know like the little uh the camouflage marks on his forearms and his face and or it could be mud you know whatever and he's got them knee pads on them gray pants and then that green shirt so definitely an og tunnel rat brought to life back in you know 2023 so it looks good he does have the size he's short just at six inches so that's that's also nice as well you have some other figures that would tower over him but you know in the meantime Let's just take this little tunnel rat and we'll we'll find a spot on the shelf for him because he definitely deserves a spot there. But anyways, um, I had fun doing this one. He's probably going to be one of my favorites out of the bunch. Uh, I think him and Low Light are probably going to be some number ones right here. But he is definitely at the top right now, so we'll see how it goes once we get through to all seven of them. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get to the other. So stick around. We're going to be having one up a day all this week coming up after our double header today. So uh, be sure to tune in, check it out, um, and we'll get to the details on our channel. So if you're new, please, like always, 
leave that giant thumbs up, subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.